At ease. Be seated. My dear young lady, I will not engage in talk. A serious threats, which I hope to be in the position to carry out. Take it you've seen enough? Gentlemen, after a nice little vacation, looks like we're back at it again. I hope you enjoyed the peace, because as of now, we're back in business. In the good old days of the Cold War, the Russians could always be depended on doing whatever's in their own best interests. But this Rachenko's playing a whole new ball game, with a whole new set of rules. Now, I've heard people talk, but I don't think this man's talking just to get his picture in the paper. He seems to have a serious weed up his ass and a legitimate gripe. <laughs> always a dangerous combination. And I think he's capable of doing every damn thing he says he's going to do. That's why we have to go out there and give the man a moment of pause. So ends theory. Thus, let us begin the facts. We've been informed by the NSA that an entire rebel corps of the Russian army is involved. That's four armored divisions, numbering 60,000 men. There seems to be massive defections. Vladimir appears to be winning the hearts and minds of the Russian soldiers. Admiral. They've seized the region by the Chinese and North Korea borders. That includes a submarine base from which they've surged four Kula-class attack subs. They've acquired a nuclear base at Artum that houses 25 hardened silos for Russian ICBMs, armed with up to 10 warheads apiece. Now, the Russian government has assured us that talks are underway. They claim that Rashinko forces do not possess the launch codes. But if Rachenko were to crack them, they could launch against our west coast direct or come in over the pole, take out Washington and New York. The commander in chief has directed US military forces to set DEFCON 4. We've been ordered to get underway at 0600 hours to assume alert coverage mid-Pacific, the Far Eastern TVD target package. Please keep your men informed. Lieutenant Commander Hunter is our new XO. Please bring him up to speed on ship's personnel and supplies. Admiral? No, that's it. On your feet. 